Sam coming away today with a nil-nil would perhaps have been bad enough given you dominance, but then to lose it at the very end, what's the mood in the dressing room tonight? Yeah, losing that game, none of us have been happy. It's a, to be fair, I didn't think we deserved to lose the game. If anything, we should have won. And we're all disappointed. And we're making it even more difficult for ourselves now because we need to keep winning more games coming at uh, the end of the season. And we've got some tough draws coming up, to be fair. So hopefully... You never know normally we win the, we win the um, hard games and lose the easy games but in football I suppose there's never an easy game and days like today shows that. One chance it took them, one freak bounce with the ball, one blocked clearance and they're in. Not a lot you could have done about it but when you look at your opposite number today he's made two or three great saves. Yeah, their keeper, he's pulled off some good saves to be honest, kept them in the game and like, like you just said, the goal... Garns has gone to clear it and he's just left that lad one on one and he slotted it in the corner, couldn't do a lot about it but yeah, their keeper definitely kept them in the game. Your first game for two or three weeks and you must have thought, great, a nice uh, clean sheet to get back in the swing of things but just not to be. Yeah, definitely, I thought coming today, not against the greatest team near the bottom of the league, should comfortably win but the conditions didn't help to be fair, first half I had headwind and it was horrible. Struggling to kick, um, reach the halfway line on a kick in, but that is same for both sides. Their keeper had it second half. Second half we went out with the wind, expecting things to be easier, but we made it we made it difficult for ourselves, and um, we didn't deserve to lose the game. Mixed results in the league today. The top two look like they're getting a bit clear now, but third place downwards is to look for grabs. So still plenty to play for and plenty of opportunities yeah, to get those points that you need. Yeah, there's still plenty to play for and hopefully all that our aim is to get in the push for promotion and hopefully get into the National Conference next season. Back at home next week and that must give you great confidence because you've been particularly strong there, especially sort of January onwards, you've been scoring plenty of goals. Yeah, we've been strong at home, not many people can beat us on a home, a home pitch. But um, you never know, it all depends, comes down to the day, whichever team wants it most, whichever battles the most. And hopefully we can grind a result out next week. Dangerous opponent again in Oxford. They're down the bottom. They lost here on Tuesday night. They've got nothing to lose. It's uh, perhaps in the effect that Workington did today. So got to be on your guard. Yeah, like, like you just said, they've got nothing to lose. They're just going to come, come down, give it all they've got and give us a good game. But hopefully next week on our home pitch, we should comfortably win the game. How's the battle with Kingy going? He's obviously suspended today been a bit in and out both of you the last few weeks you were left out but then on within 16 minutes at Harrogate must have been a surreal experience yeah definitely me and Kingy are having a good battle this season it's always it's always good having someone to push you so you, it's always good and um, when when um, we'll move on yeah, hoping to keep your place next week you've not done a lot wrong yeah. today and Presumably you think you can uh, keep that space? Yeah, definitely. I'll hopefully keep my space for next week. And like, If King is in goal, I'll just sit on the bench, take it and just keep working hard in training and hopefully I'll play more games towards the end of the season.